must unlearn what you have learned. Do or do not. There is no try. Greetings, cadets. I decided to revisit the programming of the AT Tiny as this is the video I find myself referring to most often and I would rather have a quicker, more concise guide. Should you prefer a more detailed explanation, I urge you to have a look at chapter 3 of this video series. A second reason for this revision is that a newer version 2.0 of the Arduino Integrated Development Environment has been released and things have changed a little in the latest version. So let's jump right in at warp speed. The AT Tiny is a small 8-pin chip capable of running code at 8 MHz. To orientate the chip correctly, it either has a notch on top or a dimple in the upper left corner. This signifies leg 1 of the chip and, moving in a counterclockwise direction, we number the legs from 1 to 8. Leg number 8 gets connected to the positive part of the circuit, or we can use either the 5 or 3.3 volt Arduino supply. The AT Tiny is rated to work between 2.7 and 5.5 volts. Leg number 4 gets connected to ground. Leg number 1 will reset the sketch on the AT Tiny if written as high, but it can be ignored if you don't need to reset the chip from an external source. Legs 5, 6 and 7 can be set up in the sketch as output pins 0, 1 and 2, while legs 2 and 3 will be output pins 3 and 4. Pins 0 and 1 can handle pulse width modulation to simulate an analog output and fade an LED's brightness up or down. Legs 7, 3 and 2 can be defined in the sketch as analog input pins 1, 2 and 3 respectively, should they be needed. Let's take a quick look at some of the new features of the Arduino 2.0 Integrated Development Environment. Once we have downloaded and installed the software from the Arduino website, we notice some changes to the layout of the interface. The detection of boards on the COM ports is much improved. The IDE automatically detects the correct board and assigns a COM port to it. On the left hand side there are some handy quick access buttons. The first one is the sketchbook button and by clicking it you get to browse your saved sketches and can even upload your sketches to cloud storage. Clicking the same button again removes the expanded window. The next button accesses the boards manager to allow one to quickly install and switch between boards on the fly. Next is the Libraries button, which allows us to browse our installed libraries and also has links for downloading some of the more commonly used ones. The Debug option looks quite promising, as it goes through a program sketch in a controlled manner so that we can get to understand the workings of the sketch and also helps us to spot potential flaws and code errors. I haven't used it yet, but I am excited to try it out. The search function is also a great addition, as it allows one to quickly track down all instances that, for example, a variable has been used, even across several saved sketches, or to quickly find a program annotation. Another great feature is that line numbers are displayed by default, which is really helpful as a reference tool. Also, when editing, the console is very intuitive while one enters code. It will automatically insert brackets, provide a small syntax guide, and automatically format instructions into tabs and columns. Once we have downloaded and installed the software from the Arduino website, we need to install the AT Tiny Core, as this is not included in the IDE. Click on File, then Preferences, and scroll down to Additional Boards Manager URLs. Copy and paste the link in the description. Unfortunately nowadays, YouTube does include a bunch of redirect information in their external links, so the easiest way is to click the link below and open the page in your browser. Then copy the URL from the browser's address bar and paste it into the additional Boards Manager URL. Then click on OK. Click on the Boards Manager Quick Access 
Then scroll to the entry AT Tiny by David A. Mellis and click install. The IDE quickly downloads the AT Tiny core from the URL we specified and installs the drivers. Now we need to turn the Arduino Uno into an in circuit serial programmer. We navigate to File, Examples, Arduino ISP and click on Arduino ISP. A new window pops up, detects the Arduino Uno and assigns a COM port to it. When we click the upload arrow, the TX and RX lights on the Uno flash like crazy for a few seconds and when it's done uploading, we can close the window. Our Arduino Uno is now set to program the AT Tiny 85. Our next step is to add the AT Tiny to a breadboard with its legs straddling the gutter in the middle and to wire it up to the Arduino Uno. We connect leg 8 of the AT Tiny to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino and leg 4 to one of the Arduino's ground pins. Leg 1, the reset pin, gets connected to Arduino pin 10 while legs 5, 6 and 7 are connected to Arduino pins 11, 12 and 13 respectively. The 10 microfarad capacitor is optional and we can ignore it just like an evil Klingon would. After this step, we need to plug our Arduino Uno back into its COM port. We navigate to Tools and the Board submenu, where we select AT Tiny and then AT Tiny 254585. The board in the display bar changes from Arduino Uno to AT Tiny on the same COM port. We navigate to Tools, Clock, and select an internal clock speed of 8 MHz. We navigate to Tools, Processor, and select AT Tiny 85. When selecting the programmer, a person needs to be very careful. The correct selection is in Tools, Programmer, Arduino as ISP. Then we can go ahead and select Tools and Burn Bootloader. The TX and RX lights flash briefly as the AT Tiny is formatted to receive the sketch. All that is left is to upload the sketch to the AT Tiny. To do this, we navigate to Sketch and select Upload using Programmer. If all goes well, we get the message done compiling and the TX and RX lights flash rapidly and we get a final message done uploading. As a test, we can wire up the AT Tiny as it sits on the breadboard using an Arduino to power it and check that everything is running as intended. I hope you enjoyed our revisit with the AT Tiny as much as I did. It's a remarkably powerful little chip. So long, and thank you for watching.